What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. And this is the best case. We're going to establish the new world order. Gnome of the Roman Empire. I think even that, even that does not describe why the world has changed so much and why the world has turned so much toward a new world order and a new kind of civilization. It first started in 1967 when I found out that uh, I had not uh, gotten the big picture, even though I thought that I... Uh, I had it together. I just didn't have the complete pieces of the picture. This is a, a giant geopsychopolitical picture, and uh, things are happening with the use of subliminal, indirect, and reverse psychological propaganda. Uh, it's made to be confusing by the evil archy that uh, controls not only the United States but Britain. This Illuminati, this group who called themselves the Enlightened Ones, had gained positions of power through control of the banking system. back of the dollar bill you see the symbol on the left hand side of the bill which is uh, I knew it coeptus which means our enterprise is now a success or our enterprise is crowned with success I knew it coeptus so you're saying fine so you have an enterprise and is now crowned with success what enterprise are you talking about novas ordo seclorum novas is novas meaning new ordo is order and seclorum is where we get the word secular meaning the world so it's new order of the world, the new world order. George Bush's new world order is now a success. Bill, you've heard an awful lot of dramatic speeches and seen dramatic moments in times of great gravity for the nation. How would you assess this evening? This was a stirring address, in my view. Shorter than his father's speech when he announced the new world order. Shorter than his father's speech when he announced the new world order. <laughs> is when the Federal Reserve actually finally took total control of the United States monetary system and that's when they said it is now a success because this is a symbol this is an emblem of a secret society a secret society of Freemasons called the Illuminati the German Bavarian Illuminati they were a, a secret society founded in the south of and in the south of, uh, it, of uh, Germany, they were called the Illuminati, the Illuminated Ones, the Enlightened Ones. I knew it coeptus, Nova and that was in 1774 that the Bavarian Illuminati drew up their plans for what they were going to do in America and how they were going to do it. The uh, triangle at the top with the light emanating from around it is Horus. The god of the ancient Egyptians, of course, this is an Egyptian pyramid. You don't find pyramids in America. You find them in Egypt. And that pyramid is the, is, uh, the symbol of the eye was in the Egyptian religion, Horus, which was the newborn sun. Every morning when the sun came up, his name was Horus. There was, um, that was the solar divinity in Egypt. Horus was God's son, the light of the world, who is risen. He is our risen savior, our risen and so Horus was referred to as God's son, 
and that's why the light is emanating from around because it's the sun. The sun is the round eyeball of God. The ancient Egyptians believed the pupil of God was God was the sun, and He's watching you. And therefore, the sun was was very bright. And so today we even say someone who is extremely intelligent is brilliant. They're bright, and that's why God is, of course, the most brilliant of all. Therefore, the sun is the most brilliant because it's God's eye. All right. Anyway, there are 13 layers on the pyramid, and the 1776 at the bottom is uh, 1776. A lot of people think is because of the country being founded in 1776. It has nothing to do with that. As I said, this is on a, doc a document published back in 17. 74, 75, and then in 1776, the Roman numerals were, uh, appeared on it in Europe. So what it amounted to is that the 1776 was when this secret society actually formed itself into a secret society and put itself into operation. They were the basis for what we call today in our country the Bavarian um, Illuminati was the basis for what we call today the Colombian faction. The Colombian faction of the Illuminati came here right after this government was formed, and that's where we get today Columbia, Columbia, uh, this Columbia Space Shuttle, Columbia Movies, Columbia Television, you know, Columbia Records, everything, Columbia University. Uh, as a matter of fact, Columbia. TV, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS. What is the symbol for CBS? It's the all-seeing eye. And that's why our government is in the District of Columbia, because these guys own our government. They print our money, and they own not only the government, but they own you. You are their property. So in other words, these guys print the money, they run the country, and they own you, and they own everything around it. And so they make the laws. And that's why they can decide who can kill who, and who can get away with who, and who can get away with whatever, because they make the laws and they decide. All right. As I said to you before, there are 13 layers in this pyramid. There are 13 letters in Anacoeptus. But 13 is a very important number to this secret society. There are 13 stripes. There are 13 uh, stars here, which make up the Star of David. Um, the 13 berries, there are 13 leaves, 13 arrows. Uh, there are 32 feathers here and 33 feathers there. Uh, everything is done in sequence of 13. 13, of course, is based on, the, it's, this is what we call Masonic symbolism. Freemasons designed this dollar bill. Everything is done in sequence of uh, 13. And again, I draw your attention to the fact that you have 13 stars here, which uh, collectively make up the Star of David. There's a reason why. On the one dollar bill at the top, you'll see this little image right here. But if you blow it up from an actual photograph, you'll see it is a, a, it's a, it's a little owl. It's a symbol of the Bohemian Society. The Bohemian Society meets in California on the last two weeks of July of every year. I have pictures uh, showing all of the presidents, all of the living presidents, excluding the new one, but all of the living presidents at the Bohemian Grove in Northern California, and they're all wearing red and black um, Ku Klux Klan dress type of, uh, of regalia, like the Ku Klux Klaners, with the pointed headdress and everything. And uh, I mean, that's quite a sight to see presidents dressed like Ku Klux Klan members, right? And they're standing in front of a big open pit of fire, and behind them is a about a 25, 20 to 25 foot owl behind them. And the article in Elm Magazine and Time Magazine, I've got two or three different magazines showing basically the same pictures. It says that the presidents meet with all of the heads of industry throughout the world, all of the heads of state throughout the world, and all of the most important wheeler dealers in this country. And they all meet up in Northern California, and they have, say, they have uh, rituals where they go before the owl after midnight. And then what a picture you got with all the presidents dressed up like Ku Klux Klaners with black and red robes on before an owl. And these are your presidents of this country. And the reason why they chose the owl is because the owl is a symbol used in Europe by secret societies because the owl is wise because it sees things in the dark. And the implication is, of course, that's why they are where they are because they're very brilliant and they know things that you don't know.